hope you're doing well <coughs> welcome back to another video um i think i'm starting to get like a flu or like a cold or like a viral infection coming on and i'm worried that i might like start losing my voice because it's like i'm in the early stages so i thought i'd just try and film a few videos um sorry i have stuff ready to post it is honestly so so cold in the uk right now like i'm sorry we're starting we're meant to be starting getting into spring why is winter coming back i'm sorry no but anyway um i thought i'd do a little review what read my review of the book that i recently read um called different for boys by patrick ness uh, with illustrations by t bendix i believe um i got this through net galley and the publishers is walker books so thank you for this pre-publication copy i'm gonna tell you this review and then i'm gonna say how it led to uh, me finding a song and an artist that i absolutely love and this song is amazing so definitely stick stick to the end for when i introduce you to that song because it is so good but anyway uh this book different for boys um is the quick plot summary is we're following a teenager called ant stevenson and he's sort of like exploring the ideas of like virginity and like how slash when slash what do you need to have done before you stop being one and if it's different for boys like him those who like other boys um and then he talks about his relationships with three different characters um his long-term friend charlie who is dealing with things at home um he's openly homophobic uh but it turns out he's been doing like dot 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 things as practice for girls with ant um freddie um who just wants Anne to join the rugby team and their like camp like ex-friend sort of jack who is like the butt of Charlie's jokes, but he doesn't seem to really care. Um, and then it leads up to like an incident and then the aftermath in a way and how this affects those around him. There's more to it, but like, I don't want to like spoil anything because it's very short. Um, so here's the thing why I, why I liked um, is that it touches on some like important topics, um, like this socially constructed idea of virginity. Like what actually is it? Like, why do we care so much? Um, uh, coming to terms with one sexuality, toxic mostly masculinity and different friendships but like not really in any real depth um, and then this leads to like a big problem I'd say with the book that is only 104, 104 pages uh, some of which are like just illustrations um, so if it had been longer and then it would have been able to explore these things more uh, and like better that being said, um, quite a lot of the things that Ness was trying to say, I didn't really resonate with, like, or I didn't really, like, think that was really that good. Uh, but, yeah, um, the best thing I talk about it is, like, there is, like, different levels of, like, silences and, like, how they can be, like, really loud and clear or even more so than the words and just, like, the power behind, like, a silence between people so yeah um now this is the a big neg negative i'd say um is that the themes and discussions could have been developed with a longer narrative but this is so much more prevalent with the case of the characters they are so so flat and they're just the purely character character chores of like a stereotypical like teenage boy like different types uh so we have like the confused kid who tries to play mediator as he doesn't know who or what he is a homophobe with toxic masculinity and then i said like he he's got like domestic issues but like there's no explanations like patrick ness like i'm sorry like i'm not i'm not going to feel like full sympathy for someone without like all the information and like especially after things he did like no like i'm just like i don't really get it um and then the camp obviously gay kid is just like oh my god i roll like how many times like it's just like it's just annoying like it's just really annoying um and then like the sports obsessed rugby lad who like that is basically his whole personality is just like sports i'm just like whatever um and there's there's a little bit of nuance but like it's definitely we needed more of it um and like there's a little bit of development but not really and i could really could not bring myself to like like these characters and like there was just there was just too much lacking in my opinion um so the illustrations um 
they were really not to my taste but I'm not going to judge the book like on this element but, but I just felt that they was very very like it was very messy very simple and just like unappealing like I just I just didn't like the look of them and but like the main thing that I don't like about the illustrations is that they just they didn't add anything at all to the actual narrative. Um, so like, I didn't really see a point in them being in there. They didn't bring they didn't add or bring the characters to life or add any complexity. It was just like a thing added in that I was like, oh okay. Like if they were nice, then like I wouldn't have minded. But like they were just they were just kind of like ugly. But yeah, I'm not I'm not like judging it on like their attractiveness of the pictures it's just like the role of the pictures in it i mean um and here's like a thing it's marketed as poignant and moving lgbtq plus story that explores sexuality and masculinity with a touch of humor uh but it really did not hit the mark in my opinion um i wouldn't say it was like moving um it definitely lacked a lot of like meaning and this is mostly down to the length, but also, like, it just didn't really add anything new to the discussions around, like, sexuality and masculinity and, like, things like that. Um, it's rather, it's just, it's really just a poorly realised account of a boy's friendships with um, different, like, other boys. Um, and there's, like, limited explorations. There is, like, some, like, sexuality, like, but it's it really, like, I didn't really like the messages. And masculinity, like, a little bit, but just the conclusion was just, like, really less, like, annoying. Uh, and, yeah, it's definitely an unrewarding reading experience. Um, and, like, despite it's, like, short, and I was, like, literally, like, it was so short. But I just, it was, I'm actually annoyed that I read it because I'm just, like, why did I do that? Because it was just, like, a waste of my time. Because I just, yeah, I don't know. Um, and then this is, like, another, like, point. Is that, like, there's, like, blacked out words, like, swear words and, like, sexual reference words and stuff are, like, blacked out. Um, and I'm just like, why? Like, literally, why? Like, I get it could be to, like, to cater to a younger audience because it is, like, YA. But, like, people of these ages, like, 14, 15, and, like, children, children younger, like, they already know loads of, like, curse and sex words. So, like, it just seemed kind of pointless. Um, and, like, some I could figure out, like, what it was meaning to say. And then others, well, I was just a bit, like, confused. I was just like okay and it just like it really did not hit the mark it just seemed like an added like gimmick or something that just like tried to make it like edgy or different but like it was just like why go girl give us nothing energy um so yeah i'm sorry oh please i want i want to finish this um so yeah i would i really really want to recommend this book um in my honest opinion uh, there were some redeeming qualities and like I definitely do want to maybe check out more things by Patrick Ness because I do actually have another book by him that already was already on my TBR. Um, and like some people, like other people have said they enjoyed this and like other books by him so he's definitely one I will check out again just this wasn't for me. Um, and I do think there are better alternatives to what it was trying to say. Um, so yeah. And now this is going to lead me on to an amazing, an amazing song. So I was reading some of the Goodreads reviews and someone um, referenced this song. And I was like, okay, I'm going to check that out. Um, and the song is Eva by Fancy Hapgood. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And this song is so good. Oh my God, it is amazing. So it's basically about uh, like... I think it's like junior year or, or like in high school in like an american high school like there's like it starts off like with two re two rows over me he sees like another boy um and then they like not have like a relationship really but like they kiss like under the bleachers and it's just like oh my god it's so sweet um but then this other boy um follows the normal path <laughs> Um, and like gets like a girlfriend and different things but like the, the, the song is Eva because because um, 
like I think the main character, like not the main character, but like the the one singing the song, um, is gay and he wanted more of this relationship with this other boy. But this isn't me. This isn't like us drilling. It's I don't know a neighbor or something. But it's really really loud. I literally can hear it like it's inside my house. Anyway, the other one says, um, like, but, uh, he, like, isn't gay. Like, that's what he wrote in first. And that's why he says that he wasn't either. That's why it's called Eva. And this song is just, it's so, so good. And, like, although, like, I haven't had these experiences, I know that sort of, like, mentality. And it's just... It's, it's just amazing and I listened to quite a few more other songs by Fancy Hapgood. Another really good one is Forest um, um, and that is another sort of like queer themes about like letting this like wild like thing grow and that wild thing is like a queer relationship. Um, and also other ones by him like Southern Curiosity and Bored. Um, they're both just like very like not like this they're just good songs so yeah please definitely do check him out um i would not recommend this book but i would wholeheartedly recommend that song Eva um and others by fancy Hat good um and yeah hopefully you enjoy this video it's kind of a little bit um messy i know i do look like absolute trash but i do not feel well so yeah but anyway um i shall see you soon um and yeah have a nice day everybody bye bye <laughs>